everyone! Welcome back to our catalog tutorial. Today, we're going to show you how to generate reports on Catalan Studio and how to read a Catalan test op report. Let's get started! There are two ways to create a report in Catalan Studio. It's either through Catalan Studio built-in report feature or Catalan test op. Now, I'm going to show you the first way, which is using the built-in feature. First, to set up the report function, go to the menu bar and select Project, then Setting. From there, in the email section, you'll be able to adjust how your report are going to be sent. There's the host and port of your mail server, then your username and password of your actual email account from which your report will be sending out. Then, you can choose the receiver and the content of your report email. Catalog Studio also let you personalize the format of your report and the scenario in which you want your report to be sent. To create a report, first you need to have your test suite ready. To learn how to create a test suite and a test case, you can watch our other tutorials on how to create a test suite with the link down below. After running the test suite, you're going to have the report in this tab as well as in your email. Since I already have my test suite, I'll run my test suite to get the report. Now that Catalan finished running my test, it will send me my test report to my email. So let's check that out, shall we? So this is the report that Catalan sent me of my test suite. At a glance, you can see the number of test cases passed, number of failed test cases, and number of error test cases found. For more details, you can always refer to the attachment in the email. You can also see it directly in Catalan Studio in this result tab. Since we have a failed test case, I'll click on this button to see the test case detail and try to resolve it. In this box, I can identify the failure points of my test case. In this case, it's an invalid value for a specific argument type. With this report, now I can go back to my test case, change my argument type, consequently fixing my test case. Now, when I run my test case again, it will pass. Another way to access the Catalan built-in report is through this report folder in the bar on your left. Should you want to locate a report, left-click on your board and choose Opening Containing Folders. In here, the report is ordered by date and time of the execution. This folder also stores the report under many types of file. So should I want to see a report in HTML, this is what it will look like. For a quick summary, with Catalan built-in report feature, you can access this through three ways. By email, by the result tab on the function tab, and by the report folder locating on your left drop-down. Besides from our built-in function, Catalan user can also use Catalan test op and AI-based analytics tools to get test report and analysis. You have to have a test op account in order to use Catalan test op in your project. To see if you do, go to Project, then Setting. If you are already registered, this section will be pre-filled for you just like this. If you don't, you will have to choose Override Authentication here and fill in the information by yourself. To officially use the test op integration for your account, remember to click the Enable button and select the name of the team and the project that you want to use test op on. Click on Apply, and then you are officially test op integrated. Now, let's run the test suite again to fetch a test op result. To access Catalan test op, you can go through analytics.catalan.com. From here, as you can see, I have access to all the data from all of my recent projects, including the one I'm currently running. And that's not all. When you click on a project, you have access to all the test information and analytics all in one place. These include all execution run along with details of each execution, perform an analytics based on your chosen time span, and status of all of your test case, and more. In the execution tab, you can see the specific performance data on the execution. Here, you can click on the ID of a specific execution and have a more holistic information details about test cases performances and also comparison between execution. For more detailed analysis of test op, watch out for our upcoming tutorial. And that concludes our report tutorial. If you want more from us, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up and comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for using Catalan 
and we'll see you in our next tutorial.